This is one and done. It was one and done for Bronx residents in Co-op City Saturday after getting their Johnson & Johnson one-shot COVID vaccine. From a historical standpoint, being African-American and understanding about the Tuskegee Institute, I did have hesitation immediately on hearing it. But after so much um, uh, good advice was given from Dr. Fauci and from Governor Cuomo that helped ease I think, and then I had no problem. Veronica Thompson was one of about 200 who got the shot at the Co-op City community, which has a population of about 45,000 Bronx residents, many of them seniors. That's one of the reasons I, I, I took it. Why? Because it's right here. So convenient. Yeah, so I consider that a blessing. Here, especially, we have old people. They got to be, you know, taking care of very careful. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio and local leaders toured the site as those who were eligible got inoculated. The best way to vaccinate people is right in their own neighborhood. Now that we have the Johnson Johnson vaccine, we can finally reach our homebound seniors because it is a vaccine that's so much easier to work with. It does not require the same refrigeration. It's one shot. Bronx continues to have one of the highest COVID infection rates in the five boroughs. As of Friday, the seven-day average was a 5.1%. According to the State Department of Health, so far, 3.5 million New Yorkers have received one of the three available vaccines, with 2.6 million here in New York City. With more mega sites opening some 24 hours, seniors like Veronica who got the shot are happy more New Yorkers are getting vaccinated. Still, she says, she's not going to take any chances. I'm not doing anything different until the rest of the country is on the same level. That the vaccine is safe, is going to save lives, and is going to help our city come back better and stronger than ever. And um the mayor says the goal is to have 5 million New Yorkers get vaccinated here in New York City by June. He also says as we get more vaccines, he's hoping to open more of these sites like this in neighborhoods where New Yorkers need the vaccine the most. We are live in Co-op City in the Bronx tonight. Jennifer Bisram, PIX11 News.